Hello, welcome back. So today we received this laptop from uh, a lecturer uh, at a local college who is teaching IT. Huh? This is a laptop from a lecturer who is teaching IT. Uh, that's what I try to explain to many people that learning electronic at school and what we are doing here is slightly different. You can finish degree, but still you, you, you can fail to identify things. You can fail to fix things on your own. Because see, what you learn at university or college, 99% or 80% is theory. So what the lecturer is saying, is saying the laptop just went dead. The laptop, this is just a dead laptop. This is an S Aspire E1-571. Some kind of common ESA laptop. Uh, as you can see here, no hard drive. People they don't trust people like people they don't trust a technician. Be it a cell phone technician, be it anyone who is offering services, uh, people they, they lost their trust long, long ago. We are always being treated as suspects. Huh? <laughs> Huh? I'm sure everyone is facing this challenge, especially those who are in repairs. You see, the hard drive is missing, and here you leave the message no hard drive. Hmm? What you can do with this hard drive? People with trust issues. So, the laptop. Uh, we have the battery, the hard drive is missing, we have the RAM. What I want to do, I want to come with the power supply, set on 19 volts there. Uh, where is the adapter for ESA? I think this one. This one is the right adapter for ESA. Plug in the power supply, check there. Releasing the power supply, we have 19.32. What about current? 3.2 amps. Plug in the power supply, voltage drop to 3.35 and it's taking max current. That is a, a short. Something is shorted to ground on this laptop. Trust me, can be a capacitor, can be a MOSFET, can be anything. But the, the short is very high. This is a very strong shot. Like the resistance is like zero ohms short. Very low ohms uh, uh, short to ground. Huh? Something, either the 3.3 .3 or the main 90 volts power line is short to ground. That's the problem with this laptop. So even if you press the power on button, we can't. We can't turn it. We have a switch here. We can't. But according to the power supply, it's communicating. That's why I always prefer to fix laptops using power supply, adjustable one, instead of using a customer's charger. Because from here, we can conclude that for sure, we have a short to ground. But I believe this is short is soon after the the input section, not before. I don't think so. So what I can say, let's open this and see what is inside this laptop. All screws are out. Now, yeah, the inches, you remember this ESA? All these inches, they are not good. But at the moment, Let's concentrate with the motherboard. We'll see about the inches later. But for now, our main problem is that the motherboard is not turning on.
because we have a shorted i don't think in the charging port because from outside the charging port looks good okay i can't see anything on this motherboard like liquid damage or anything i can't see anything so yeah the back cover we need to get rid of this so what can be the problem here huh? let's confirm the shot with the use of the multimeter we have some capacitors here zero 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 here we have another one zero zero good i don't want to waste time because we have a thermal camera so there's no reason for me to waste time we want to go straight to the point what i want to do i want to come with the power after the the input mosfets on the output of the second mosfet which i believe is here based on experience boss i fixed this laptop this mode of ESA so many times. Let's lower the voltage even to 9, 10 volts, 7. So the shot is after. So we have to see what is taking that, that power. Okay. What is here? Rising the current was I can't see anything. You know, sometimes I prefer to work with the edge. nothing is eating up huh this is 3.8 amps let's go to 4. Point something 4.4 The most ways they are getting hot. You know what? Let's check out the motherboard. This is some kind of confusion. With the 4.4 amps, nothing is heating up. Let's check out the motherboard. 
Maybe you can spot something on the other side of the motherboard. Let's concentrate here on the motherboard here. Because our problem is here. Here is the problem. Here is the problem. So, we need to test again for shorts. There. There's no short. Don't tell me it's the charging port. Let's check those. The first MOSFET is shorted. Okay, so the pro our problem is on the charging port. Oh. Huh? So I can test this charging port. Plus and minus. No. Come on the power supply. We don't have any shorts. It's not shorted. So what's really going on here? But from the own look of things, This first MOSFET is gone. The first MOSFET is shorted. Let me see if it's shorted to ground. But drain to source is beeping. Drain to source is beeping. Let's go on a microscope. Exactly on the input section. We are here checking the atmosphere. This atmosphere is shorted. So let me look for another motherboard for space. Mm. So le let's check down this MOSFET. Let's check it down. MOSFET is out. Nothing to clean here.
MOSFET replaced. Now let's check this MOSFET. This is good. And this is good. Okay. Let's check on any power supply. We have some ceramic capacitors here. Good. So the 19 volt power line is no longer shorted. Let's check that MOSFET. Drain to source. Drain to source. You see, we have the beeping of the multimeter. This is a dead MOSFET. So, we can test. We can test to see if this motherboard is still is working or not. 19 volts. 19. What we need, we need ground here. Uh, the board is still a little bit warm, but you can test. We can test. Here is taking 12, 12 milliamps. Uh, let's try to power on the board with the tweezer by shorting pins. Pin number one, no. Pin number two. P number two to ground is taking 700 and do you have light here? You see that light? So the motherboard just came on. So this is fixed. This is fixed. So I'm sure if we plug in the charging port, we are not going to have any short there. That is my, but I, I tested the charging port looks solid. The charging port looks solid. Yeah, all the inches are gone. But that is a secondary issue. That is a secondary issue. So the charging port is shorted. Huh? The plus and minus of the charging port is shorted. Huh? How is that possible? How is that possible? So the shortest charging is coming from the charging port itself. My question is, can we fix this? Well, the first MOSFET was shorted, but now the problem is here. Here we have a problem. Huh?
Okay. I'm suspecting the minus was touching the plus here. So let's fix this. Let's fix this here. Let's fix this. By all means, this laptop has to be fixed. We don't have option here. Okay. looks better now now I, what i want to do i want to come with the power supply to see if this port this is minus this is plus I stick this black pro probe on the outer metal and I'm checking straight on the plus here on this connector. This is ground. This is plus. Let's lower the current. Let's try again. Let's try again. Because I can't wait to see this laptop coming on. I can't even wait. Power supply. What's going on here? What's going on? Hmm? Check those input MOSFET when I plug in the power supply. It's getting mad words. Huh? Let's replace the other one. Maybe. Maybe it's the other one. Before I do something dodgy here. Good. Blower. Let's see now. Now is not shorted anymore. You can see. So actually the problem was coming from the second MOSFET. Huh? 
Really? How did we miss this? How did we miss this? Let's cool down the motherboard. We change the first MOSFET, we change the second MOSFET. So what is shorted here? Huh? What is shorted here? An idea? I want to come straight with 5 M's. I want to see smoke there. These are very hidden shots. Why? Is this the cable from the the screen? Check now. Finally, we found the problem. So, this cable, the LVTS cable, which is coming from the, the screen, is shorting the motherboard. Check here. Check here. This is interesting. I think we, we have learned something. Check here. We plug in here. It's not shorted. Let's plug the LVDS cable. Check. It's taking 5 amps. And the cable is very is getting very hot. Huh? This laptop. Oh. So actually the motherboard is coming on. Actually the motherboard is coming on or not. It is on, fan is spinning and here we have light. You can see the light. So the cable is shorting the 19 volts to ground. Huh? This laptop. 
So now we have to check out the, the screen. So let me check out the screen and uh, we'll try with a different cable. Let's see now. Let's see now. Where's that cable? This one. Can you see this, this cable? I want you to pay attention to this cable. We plug it in here. This is the original cable, diode mode. Let's check the main 90 volts power line. You can hear the capacitors. The capacitors are beeping to ground. And if you plug in the power supply with this original LVDS cable for the screen, we have a short there. It's shorted. Let's check out this cable. Let's check out this cable and replace it. I think we have another cable here. Let's replace this cable and see if that can solve the problem. I was expecting to be a capacitor, but now we are on the other direction. Huh? I was expecting to be a capacitor, but it's not this time. Let's connect to this other cable for ESA. We just want to see if this can give us better results. Fine. Let's check the 19 volts power line. Capacitors. The capacitors are not in shortage. So let's test with this screen. Maybe we can see something. And this laptop, all the inches, all the inches are gone. But if you manage to bring power, there's no short. You can say it's taking 11, 12 milliamps, and uh, powering on the laptop, shorting pins, pin number two to ground. We have light and the motherboard is working fine. You see? No boot device found. Huh? So, so the, 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 the cause of the short, yeah, the first MOSFET was shorted from drain to source, but was not shorted to ground. But actually, the main problem was this. Uh, Something is interrupting the 19 volts power line to ground inside, but we don't have time to, to open this and fix. It's more easy just to replace with another cable. So what I'll do, I'll stop this video now because we already will spend half, half an hour trying to figure it out. That was a, some kind of confusion. So what I would do, we use epox hot glue to fix the hinges. You know the ratio one is to one. I once make some videos of how we are fixing inches in regions of high temperatures like Zimbabwe. Here is very hot. You can see I'm sweating. It's very, very hot. High temperatures. So what I'll do, I'll mix epox with hot glue. I'll fix the inches. I'll close up the laptop and I'll give the customer. So like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. See you on the next one. Bye.